Beyond the high-pitched growth story of the IT industry, there is another India of hundreds of millions of people who are untouched by all this progress. They are still working and doing things the way their great-grandfathers did. And this is creating a problem because the young generation doesn't really want to do that anymore. They don't want to go into the age-old arts of making yarns and uh, beautiful fabrics. But this will kill these industries. We need to save uh, our culture of uh, producing silk. So we have to really help our women earn their livelihood. We are trying to keep this industry alive for the future generations. So I'm a mechanical engineer by education. Garima is a designer. We have innovated solar-powered silk reeling machine, Unnati. It's a very small, compact machine, hardly one and a half feet by one and a half feet. And it uh, uses a micro motor of 15 watts, a DC motor. So it's connected to a battery. The battery is charged from the solar panels. And a woman is able to use it for almost 12 hours every day of the year. Initially, they use their thighs to reel the thread. So they have problems in their thighs, the back problems, and the knee problems. Now they have a machine, and their production capacity has increased. They don't have any health problems, so they're happy about it. Yeah, her impact, using it, she gets an income of uh, almost uh, more than $3 a day, which is more than three times of what she would be earning otherwise. And it's very convenient. You could see in the village, a woman would be cooking and making the yarn simultaneously. The feedback that we receive from ASME mm -hmm. is very useful for us, both for the hardware and for the business side. So that's what's prompted us to get into forming an integrated farm to fabric projects. We have uh, started a silk farm using this money. We start right from growing the cocoons on the farms, then silk reelers who will convert these cocoons to yarn, and then weavers who will make it into fabric. So the idea is that the entire project is a self-sufficient one. Well, collectively, they would get more than 50% of the total value that's in the finished product. We are able to distribute the income in, the, in each stage equitably throughout the chain. It doesn't get lost into a third party. We hope that we will be able to make a difference. We meet all the women and they tell us that they are able to send their children to school for the first time. The young girls say they are working on the machine because they want to save up for their wedding. It is for the first time that their parents have enough income. They're able to save money beyond their daily needs. We hope that we will be able to bring people back to their villages to do some really useful and productive work and save these arts, which are very important for all of us. And we also hope that we will be able to inspire more people to come and do something like this because there is so much that can be done in the villages in India.